Good morning or evening, friends. This is Wise Guys once again. Going over some Battleborn action this time. Not Overwatch, Battleborn. Last time I did a Battleborn video, I promised not only would I have another Battleborn video to go, but that it would not always be Isaac. And this is my promise trying out Caldarius for the first time. Yes, another murderous, murderous robot. Why? I think I have a thing for you, murderous robot, mate. Um, Caldarius is a very interesting character. He apparently works both melee as well as range. It's not a great range, but it's a range nonetheless. And his melee attack, well, when we get into the game, I'll tell you a little more about that. Still love this little battle up screen. This versus screen that comes up. It's really Meltdown. neat. I also like the single player where they go the whole one way and show you and who the character is and who's playing and that kind of thing. The mm, the mission, I'm not going to go too much into the build, so I'll, you can see what I pick. The first team Can't go too much into the build because I don't know what I'm picking. Victory. So yeah, this is just the first time running it. I think on this one I went with the reloading the TNT. Funny thing about that, a little later in the match you will actually see where I make mistakes on that. Instead of Two, hitting the one, L the L1 go. to do the ability and reload the trip the uh, TMP, I actually hit L2, which does nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's a melee attack, but it does nothing really. Um, took me a while to catch on to it, but once I got onto the rhythm and how the, the uh, character kind of worked a little bit better, things got a little a lot better. Doing my traditional thing of trying to get some cash early on. Slow down before I got too deep into it. It's always a good thing to start off trying to harass. You don't have to get into it and go straight for kills. Try to harass. Also, if you see, I'm starting to shoot at the shepherd first um, and shoot at the turret. Now, you want to get the shepherd out of the way. I've said it a couple times before. A lot of people don't stick with it, but you want to get the shepherd first because that will take out the overshield for the rest of the minion. That's the most important thing you can. Well, I won't say most important, but that's a very important thing to do because, in, especially in this particular map where you're trying to keep as many of your minions alive and try to get rid of as many of their minions as possible, the fastest way to do that is to shoot some your shepherd up, and get their shepherd out the way. Turret's obvious. Keep it from picking off your minions on the way there. Also, I'm a big fan of getting rid of that accelerator. Die, Nico! It's always good to start off with an early kill, even though I didn't deserve that one or earn it anyway. Hashtag assist. Again, I want to take aim at the shepherd. That's trick. Now there's a Orindi somewhere doing some massive damage. I'm not even looking for it. That's not good. That little area off to the side is a good place to get some um, shards early on. Caldarius has a double jump. But it's not a traditional double jump. It's kind of a boost in different directions. Um, I was a couple of times in this match. You will see me try to test it, see how high it goes, how far it goes, that kind of thing. Um, but I really need to get that taken care of. I really need to understand that fully because I think that's the best way to keep people from um, or to maximize mo mobility in games like this. Mobility is a big thing. He said as he ran away. <laughs> Hostile giant minion on the like enemy altar. Look who it is. Lower in That's the boomerang coming from Shane Arts. I want to get away because I know I'm in the half health right now. Um, overall, I really like Caldarius. Took a while to learn how to use him. Overextended battle area. It's easy to get overconfident with Galileo. That right there is where I make that mistake as well. Hitting L trigger or L2 as opposed to the bumper. I because if you do that and I got the that talent, I can reload my gun real quick. Once again, I have survived. Embarrassingly enough, I did not know you could keep you could recall in this game during the entire open beta. Which is terrible of me. There shall be no um, on this one, I don't know if it's the best talent. Mm. I use the one that knocks him, or that's 
Calderius go in the air when he does his that gravity burst. I don't think it's the best talent in the world. Um, I'm sure there are great ways to use it, but I, I didn't put too much thought into it. Get me some shards. So that way I can make sure I have some gear that I have not activated yet for some reason. There we go. It's like a saw. Even though it's happened in the past. Mm. Picked up two pieces of gear at that point. Only one left. I'm getting a pretty good bonus right now. Coming around this corner. Again, I'm about half health, but I don't want to get too deep into it. I didn't mean to take those shards, but if you knock it down right there, you know, might as well take it. I don't really have a choice at that point. Once again, head to the ship. That is a strategy I don't think a lot of people do. And once again, hitting the wrong button. Again, about to die. Hit up an accelerator and get out of there. <laughs> now I ran past some minions and a couple of our heroes. Also, that accelerator gave me an overshield, which is a good thing. But I ran past um, some minions and a couple of our heroes to get to where I need to be right there. And that doesn't seem like it's that big of a big of an idea, but that helps me know I got a little chance to turn around or I can recall if I need to. I don't have to run too far. Unless Shane and Arx were on me, but they weren't. Do the blessing. And now I'm about to die. Yeah. This is a turning point of the match because enemy who cut the cheese has left the match. I have said a number of times this game, as many other team games, are made much worse because people leave early. And that plays a terrible role. You put the rest of the team in a bad position. I understand sometimes your connection just doesn't work. You just can't hang in there. It happens. Sometimes power just comes out. It happens. But people who leave the game make things much more difficult for everybody else. And then you get the terrible votes. I don't think we've had a vote just yet, but I'm sure one's coming on there on the enemy team side. If you look at the score, we're doing pretty well. 127 to 84. Yeah. That was just fortuitous. <laughs> Missed what I was going for, but had somebody standing right there. That was terrible shooting. But yes. Take out their uh, turrets. Take out their accelerators. Take out the health stations. Whatever you can take out, go ahead and knock it out early. There is a pretty good um, cooldown on that, that gravity booster. There we go. Turret. And Shepard. Advantageous. I tried to move to a safer place before I checked my talents and saw what I wanted. Again, this is the first time I've played Calderas at all, so I knew I wanted to do something. That was just poor time. <laughs> that might get me killed if I'm not careful. Nope. Got it all. Sorry. Testing around that jump a little bit more. Mm. Can't go invisible on me. I really like area of effect damage in this. That boost is just not quite far. Uh, there's a talent later on that allows you to play with that. As you see, I've got all my items and I got a Giant bunch of shards. But now I can do also. things like this. Giant minion moving out. Bring it to Minrex. That gives us two pieces of push, two large pieces of push on the other end, on both ends. So they have to start fighting back right now, which is difficult when we're taking them out. Galilea comes in, put a lot of fire on her, force her out. Yeah, of course, go for the accelerator. What does the accelerator do? There is less speed to them, 
There are no overshields. The enemy has deployed a giant minion. Destroy it. First game pretty hard. Now we're over extending at this point, but with it being 4v5 and we're so far ahead right now, I'm not worried about being over extended that much. Plus, this game, I was kind of feeling myself. I was able to get in and out of places like I needed to. This took a while, because both of these look pretty good. So I went with the one that does rapid succession. Both of those look really good. I gotta check that build out a little bit more. Yeah, run, run! Caldarius is very adept at doing some very good damage. Uh, close to death here. Need to get out. Ooh. Quick little dash, and we're we're fit relatively safe. Um, as you saw, I didn't pass anybody, so I want to get something between me before I start doing recall. Nico is not to be played with. This is not how it ends. There you go. That is the change to the to the jump. I added that special change to um, go higher as opposed to go faster left and right. I think faster left and right or forward and backwards is going to be the best way to go. I have to play around with that a little bit more um, because for you to get the boost, I've found it's more effective to double jump straight and then try to move, which doesn't give you any lateral movement. So it's a good dodge. That's about it. I think the mobility is probably a smarter idea, um, especially in addition to the the uh, people sliding up the gut. Yeah, yeah. Here it goes down. That's fine. Now they've lost another one, so it is effectively a three v five match. I didn't know these were new. Another thing I probably should have picked up on during the beta, but things you know, I've never really been in the driver's seat this big. And our team is doing a very good job of just kind of cleaning everything up. So, shout out to the team. If you see yourself, shout out to you. Pat yourself on the back. Nico's in some trouble. Nico ain't gonna make it. So even now, going back and watching this, I see a little bit more about how that three and rapid projection go. Um, I could probably play with that a little bit better. Only one hostile remains. Got a little heal from the mushroom. That's the other thing. With two people in their team gone, I mean, you kill two people and all of a sudden we're at a screen power play. And again, I keep going for that uppercut in this particular instance because it also refill, reloads my gun. So it's damage till I can't damage anymore, sliding with the uppercut, deal some extra damage, and then my my gun is back to being reloaded. So I can go right back into the, the fire. So I think that's a smart build, but I gotta, again, play around with it. And once again, make sure you get something that's new. Because I'm smart. I can do things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says, I'm like dumb, but I'm smart. Power play. Enemy forces at half strength. Terrible boost, but again, just playing with the range. And that was a lot of me trying to test what works and what doesn't work. Again, you get to Wow. My aim was terrible. Like this. Here's the Blades, Nico, take a shot at him, Power play. Enemy and they have strength. given up. So that should be about the end of the video. video. Let's just start with Caldarius. Uh, like if you like. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.